Hi Libra, welcome. Today I'm doing a message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, or if you're interested in a Libra and you're hoping to get some more information, you're absolutely welcome here, or if you just feel drawn to the title because I really believe that time doesn't matter. It's like, send your energy and your intentions into this reading, and I've just trusted the universe will bring you where you need to be, when you need to be for messages. Okay, it's a collective reading, so not every energy is going to match every one of you. Some energy will not be your message. What's really important in these readings is to see them as a bridge to your own intuition. Allow whatever it is that wants to come up within you, the messages that you have from within yourself, your higher self, allow them to come through, go into it with the intention of channeling the light and love, and just, um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, Libra. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. If you feel drawn to it, I'd love for you to visit me there. It's my creative space. There's more than readings there. There's recipes, family life stuff, other things as well. Let's get started. Okay, so I pulled a lot of cards for you. I actually prefer to pull cards before doing the reading because I just like to look at all the energy combined and take a moment to just listen um, before we start. So the first two cards that came out are the Five of Wands and the Moon card. So some kind of conflict, uh, some kind of stress. The Moon card is something is being hidden and it needs to be revealed or it's yet to be revealed. I feel like some of this conflict or like, um, you know, like I would just let's call it negative energy. I don't like to get into drama, um, but it has to do with maybe things being hidden from you possibly, um, whether that's a person or just just information you don't have yet, I'm not sure, it could be either. Depends on your situation. But you're, so, I feel like as these things get revealed, you're gonna have this brand new beginning here. This is a really positive card, the Ace of Swords. You're gonna have clarity. Um, cause maybe you really needed clarity regarding whatever the stress or conflict is. And you have the seven of pentacles. This is very much like you've worked hard. You've paid your dues. Success is coming into you. I feel like, you know, it could be money is coming into you cause you've worked really hard or just stability is going to happen for you. And you have very fast moving action. Someone's coming in passionately, hot, quick, and passionately here is how I like to see it because the Ten of Cups, I feel like you, they see you as their Ten of Cups. Um, they see you as their their happiness. Their, this is total emotional fulfillment. I love this card because when I feel the Ten of Cups, I just feel like emotional needs being met. That's such an important thing. I think that if more partners really um, pay attention to that, it would really help. So like, I feel like this person is coming in passionately and quickly with action because they see you as their happiness here. Um, and like I said, you're having this new beginning, this clarity of, or this person could be having this clarity. Um, but it's like, I feel like you've put in all the hard work and you've really paid your dues. So you also have the two of swords and the 10 of wands. This is very much like being blind or stuck to the situation, like having the blindfold on in the traditional deck, Ten of Swords, extreme stress, really heaviness, something really heavy. Um, I like to think of it like it, it's got the tower falling on them. It's like, but for me, it feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders or extreme stress. Um, and there's, there's someone staying stuck. Your person may be staying stuck, your person being whoever it is that you're thinking of. Um, maybe they're, it's almost like I feel like someone is, so I read intuitively, not just a traditional message, but I feel like someone is blind to something, especially with the moon card being here. It's like, they're not seeing the truth. Um, you know, cause we have this ability to use our intuition and really sense the truth. Maybe they're not sensing the truth. They just have this heavy weight on them, this conflict, the stress. And part of it's because they're not actually seeing the truth. They're, uh, they're just staying stuck. Sun card and the world card. To me, this means 
these two together. This is a really big deal. These are major cards, especially to be together next to each other. This to me says the universe is gonna push something into happiness. The universe is gonna turn something to create the happiness. I feel like the universe is gonna come in and boom, help them get unstuck because help them see what they're not seeing here. Um, because really it's like, you know, the power is within their hands or, or your hands. So like I said, it could be I'm picking up your energy or your person's energy. Right now I'm feeling really called to talk more about your person. I feel like that's because a lot of times when we're watching these videos, that's what we're questioning more is what the heck is going on. Um, but I feel like the universe, two major arcana cards, definitely universe, complete happiness here. Like this is the happiest card in the deck. And I feel like seeing universe behind it. Oh, what would be amazing is like if this truth gets revealed to them, um, whether they learn to pick it up intuitively or something happens where the truth gets revealed. And I feel like 10 ending a cycle especially because you have the Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning with clarity. Um, maybe they just weren't having clarity on their feelings here. And it's like they've been stuck in stress and chaos um, and heaviness. But the universe is going to like turn things and let the sun come out here with the world. It's like World Card 2. For me, it's kind of like almost like make a wish because anything can come true, right? You have the world in your hands. Maybe they don't really know that. And then, awesome, I love this. Three of, of wands and the full card. A celebration of some kind. Some kind of celebration and brand new beginning again with the full card. So you can't make this up. You get two aces, or you get the ace and you get the full card. This is definitely a new beginning. This is taking a leap of faith. Like, see, not like King Warriors Wagon, just taking the leap of faith. Letting the universe letting the universe allow this to happen, getting out of this stuck, stressed, blindfolded conflict, not seeing really what the truth is and what's really going on. Love that. Okay, so we also have motivation here. So something's motivating this person. Um, something's motivating this person to come in hot, fast, and quick with this offer of Ten of Cups, massive love, is what I feel like. Something's motivating them. Something has, sometimes something, oh, it's really difficult, but sometimes really difficult situations are what make that hard push to that change. It's like this person wasn't doing anything. They were just staying stuck. Now the universe has like pushed them. And now they have this motivation. They also have see the other person's point of view. Maybe that means that they're going to start seeing like your point of view. Or it could be that, the universe is asking you to do the same. It doesn't hurt for both people. Um, but, you know, hopefully they get some clarity and like start to see your point of view and where you're coming from. And this card, although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. So if you've been through some really hard stuff, I feel like it happened to produce this change. I wish in a perfect world that it wouldn't have to be so difficult for that positive change to happen. But so many times without the difficulty, you know, people don't change something. Um, and that's why I think really being on the spiritual path and meditation and just, you know, being really open is so important because I feel like it helps you to change um, with a little more ease because of that faith. Like, you understand, like, yes, maybe you don't want it to be difficult, but yes, there's something great being born here. There's some great new beginning being born here. Okay, Libra, I hope that gave you some uh, clarity. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and it means so much to me that you're here. It's such an honor to do these readings for you because I really enjoy doing them for you. So thank you for all your support of this channel. Um, if you feel called to subscribe. I'd love to have you here and thank you for those of you who are. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified of the new videos when they come out. Have a beautiful week Libra. Bye.